We're going to turn now to that wealthy Wall Street executive, the son of a billionaire now accused of a massive financial scam. Authorities say Andrew Kasperson attempted to swindle investors, including a charity, out of a whopping $95 million. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with more on the alleged scheme this morning. Hey, Gio. Hey, David, good morning. He went to the top schools, Princeton and Harvard. In fact, Harvard even has a student center named after his family. But this morning, his name is in the news for all the wrong reasons. Bobby Axelrod is an icon of the wealth of our age, and he is a fraud. It's like a scene straight out of the popular Showtime series, Billions. Chuck Rhodes, a determined U.S. attorney, going after a crooked Wall Street tycoon. Walk away. I should. But in real life, it's this Wall Street executive, 39-year-old Andrew Kasperson, who is in hot water with the law, not for insider trading, but for allegedly stealing $25 million in investment money from a charity. Prosecutors allege Kasperson created fake companies, websites, and even email addresses to appear as though he was running a legitimate investment fund, then began soliciting money. They say asking investors for as much as $95 million. But after a charity handed over the first 25 million, investigators caught up with Kasperson. He got asked for the money back. He didn't have it anymore, so he started trying to cover his tracks real quick, and he got sloppy. While authorities haven't identified the nonprofit, an environmental conservation group, the Moore Charitable Foundation, has come forward saying it was the charity duped. This is a guy who made a good salary. He comes from money, a very wealthy family. So right now it's unclear why he did it. Greed is obviously one possibility. This morning, the investment bank Casperson worked for says it has fired him, telling ABC News, we were stunned and outraged. Billions creator Brian Koppelman says Casperson's alleged crimes would make him a target on his show. It's beyond the pale that somebody um, in a position holding themselves out as a trusted investment advisor would actually be taking the money if he did the crimes of which he's accused. Chuck Rhodes would lock him up. And Casperson was released on a $5 million bail. He'll face a judge again in April. And if you're wondering where those $25 million are right now, well, investigators say that it appears he has spent almost all of it. Mm. Wow. And he yeah. was asking for an additional $70 million? And that was just in the past two weeks. That's when people started getting suspicious about it. So. How do you spend that money that fast? Um, all right. I'd like to find out.